known as Cadillac DeVille, a 69 with the original color, but it's been restored. And today I gotta fix these. Somebody was um, working with, out with some weights and fell over. Beautiful car. But they don't look too deep. I'm hoping to get these out super nice. This one looks pretty deep. All right, let's knock on the door, let them know I'm here. Now this is no easy task because it's a high profile spot. This is the driver's side fender and they park the car in that same spot. Every day they're gonna come home and they're gonna look at the work. So the profession of paintless dent repair is not an easy one, but if you can do the work, there's plenty of work out there. Saving cars from the body shop is my passion. I mean, look at the size of these dents. I mean, a, a weight set fell onto it. Luckily, it didn't have a hard edge to break the paint. But you need a lot of power to work on this metal, 1969. And the access was horrible. There's just no way to get my tools up inside there. Small rods, large rods, nothing could fit in there. And you need, again, a lot of power to work on it. On top of that, you know, when you work on dents, you need to look at it in two opposite directions. I had this one because I can come in from the fender with my tools. The other side, I did not have. That's the hardest part of a repair, is when you can't work on it from both directions. And that was just the beginning of what was going wrong with this job. I just kept thinking about the customer coming home, wanting to see my work completely gone. I, I couldn't fail. All right, this is how I got access to these dents on this uh, 69 Caddy. I didn't get lucky and be able to peel back this steel liner like sometimes you can. So I had to bend this out a little bit and it's a really good repaint. So this paint's holding up like a champ. I bent it and uh, just took a wedge and, and unbolted the fender at the bottom and wedged it out just far enough to get my dent dial in there. So now I got some power and I can reach all the way to that one. This one's no problem. That's the one I was concerned about. I wanted more power, so I took the swivel base off the slot bar and got it to where it's just right to leverage off the tire. And this was not good enough. This metal was crazy strong. So I took a jack that I've had in the back of my van for years for this situation, put it up inside there, pushed as hard as I could, could not budge that dent. This Cadillac 1969 metal was amazingly strong. Also, the distance from the tire was too far away. It just couldn't be done. Now I'm finding all this out at the time of the appointment. I have my whole day set aside. And on top of that, up inside the fender, an interior piece of frame was in the way. Not just over the whole dent, but just right in the middle of it, the corner of this frame was right there. Oh my gosh. And it's an everyday occurrence in paintless dent repair. That's why in the membership page, I'm going over how to make tools and how to prepare yourself for these situations. And that's exactly what I did. I packed up, went home and made a tool, a tool that would have to fit that spot exactly. All right, here's where I'm at with this Cadillac. So that really bad one was right there. It's got two few little spots and then finish up this one. This is the easier of the two. It's coming along. It's gonna come back tomorrow. All right, all done with this 1969 Cadillac DeVille. Now this is original factory color. Customer had it repainted beautifully been in the family for years and this left fender I didn't I couldn't I couldn't imagine this getting repainted and getting 
getting it to be a, a beautiful match. Just, just don't think it could happen. That's why I'm so glad to save this from the body shop. There you go, all done. All right, back to full value, no repainting involved. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is Sal from Dent Experts, the YouTube channel, saving this beautiful 69 Cadillac from the body shop. Thanks for watching.